Before I begin answering a couple of questions from our discussion board, I would like to remind everyone to please go through the guidelines that we have set. They are meant to help us achieve a beneficial discourse between all of us. Thank you. So let us start. Koyax Gavilan posted a series of questions regarding mission. Here are his questions. What is the heart of the mission of every Christian? Why is the mission necessary? What is the function of the sacraments, especially baptism, on our mission? I think our goal is to be clear on our mission. Pleasant discussion. God bless us all. Thank you, Koyax, for sending those three questions. First, the mission of Christians. The mission of Christians is the very mission of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Jesus was sent by God, by the Father, in order to inaugurate the kingdom of God and to bring us to His kingdom so that we could share, finally, divine life. And so we share in that mission. Jesus sent His disciples and He sends us to preach the good news of God's kingdom, to call people to repentance so that we could turn away from everything that is contrary to that kingdom and to lead others to that good news so that as a community, we can all together journey towards salvation. So every Christian sharing in the mission of Christ should be missionary. And that leads us to that question regarding baptism. In baptism, we participate in the very life of Christ. Every baptized person has died to sin and is now living in God thanks to the Paschal mystery, the death and resurrection of Christ. In baptism, we are incorporated into Christ. That's why after baptism, we are called Christian. And so, in baptism, we do not only share the life of Christ, we also share in the mission of Christ. Okay? So every baptized person is by that very fact of baptism, by that fact becomes a missionary, sharing in the mission of Christ, bringing the good news of salvation, of liberation from sin to all peoples, to all strata of society. 